We got a Centurion team with icons, normal Centurions. We have a Ballon d'Or event. We have Veron as an icon SBC, which is the first SBC of this year with an icon. Almost all the coins are gone. There has been a market crash. We have packs to open. A lot has happened. There's a lot to show, a lot to talk about. I'm gonna keep every section short, so it's gonna be a somewhat short video with a lot of different things in it. So enjoy it. Let's just start. And we gotta start with the coins because we only have 20,000 coins. As you can see, we have 25 solar items we finally sold bastoni and we invested in those coins and as you can see we have a lot of silver players here and of course before i told you about the investment that we did buying silver commons buying silver rares opening bronze packs and once i knew that veron would drop as an icon sbc i was like we gotta invest all the coins as quickly as possible in silver rares because we were doing silver commons but always the first teams is a completely bronze rare team and a completely silver rare team the past years whenever we got more and more icons they went up in price they sometimes sold for like 600 coins during the year at the end of the year even like 2000 coins at some point so i was like we gotta invest the coins they ruined the packs even more you now get three gold common players and a small silver player pack and the icon sbc is overpriced so even though i bought them at the minimum price of 250 they didn't really go up we could sell them for 300 to make a little bit of profit but i was hoping that they would at least go to like 400 500 coins but they're 300 coins the good thing is is that silver commons for some reason are also 300 coins as you can see and i quickly checked what we have in the club and we got 400 silver rares 450 silver commons and if we would sell them all for 300 coins what they all sell for right now we would get around 250 000 coins from them which is a very nice investment and potentially can make us way more than that but that's why the coins are gone and that's why all the dupes that i have i've been selling for 350 to get a little bit more it's a little bit of a lazy sell but we also had a few things that sold for quite a bit if you check your club, maybe by the time you're watching this, it's maybe a bit lower, but Norwegian managers are extinct and USA managers are 4.5k. This is all because of the Ballon d'Or picks. Everyone will have good players. Hansen is one that a lot of people chose. And also there are quite a few women from the USA that made the prices go up. People can use those players for four days straight without any limitation. So people want to fit them in. So if you're watching this and we still have the cards available, check your club if you have these tradable and sell them if they're still worth anything. It's easy coins. But besides Besides that, we're still selling the dupes and slowly getting some profit out of that. We have a few packs to open, but before I show the packs, I quickly want to show you the team. I had to choose the Ballon d'Or players already, but I didn't make screenshots of the player picks. I wanted to open bronze packs while investing in the silver, so I had to get rid of them. I was like, let me make a screenshot out of it. Obviously, we want to base it on Henri, but since Mbappe played for two teams, I'm like, you know what, we gotta take Mbappe, you know? And for the women, these were the options we had. It was either Salma or Hansen. Well, I just talked about Hansen and honestly all the picks here are insane these are like pretty much the best picks besides Bomati I wanted to take Hansen but to make it fit into the team and the players we had I chose Salma because of the good link with Fernando Torres and that's why we have this team right now if we get a Fernand Mendy but he's 70,000 coins and we don't have that right now because we invested everything we could have a full camp team so if you pack something good out of the packs that we're gonna open I think we're gonna rock with Fernand Mendy this weekend we're also working on an Evo and then this is is gonna be the team and hopefully we're gonna do pretty well with it we have a lot of good super subs as well i finished the evil on a pan and sorry that this is a little bit of a different episode where we go through everything very quickly but yeah let me know if you like it when i do it like this or if you rather have me focusing on just one thing and let the other things for what it is let me know what you want to see in this series because in the end i make it for you so whatever is most enjoyable for you i will make sure i make it in that way but this will be the card when we complete him we did his sbc for twenty thousand coins we put him in a true blazer evo and it actually becomes a very good card defender plus plus quite a few play styles no play style plus yet but good pace good defending good physical he's quite tiny though but i was like it's for the french team could be a good one and for now for the main team as well we haven't been building the other teams yet but we're looking ahead you know i was like it was a free evo it was a 20k sbc it's worth it for this card but it's time to open some packs let's start with a rare consumable pack it doesn't matter but shadows or hunters would have been nice because we have some new players to put them on we also have team of the week packs which we might open i kind of want to save them because there's one player above 100k and then there's geokeras who's like 60,000 coins the rest is all a bit lower but with these coins we can afford fairland mandy and play with a good team so i think we're gonna do that but let's start with the preview packs and don't forget to also open your silver preview pack because sometimes there are things inside that make it worth it and i'm pretty sure this one doesn't sell for 3k does it wait does this one sell for 3,000 coins there's one for 25 
500 here. You know what? That is worth it. Because then we're going to sell this one for 2200 and hopefully that sells. Then all these items, if we quick sell it, is another almost 1000 coins. And then if we sell all of these, we know they are 300 each. We make profit. And then he will most likely sell for 200 as well. The players for now we send to the club, they're not really worth anything at the moment. But once they are, they go for even more. And if we need to sell them, we sell them. So obviously you're not getting a lot of coins out of it at the moment, but it could have a team of the week in it. It could have like a Norwegian manager in it at the moment. There are definitely possibilities to make like somewhat steady profit out of this. At the end of the video, I will link a video where I tested bronze packs against silver packs so you can see how I do it and if it's even worth it to open it just in general. But even this one seems to sell for like 1000 coins probably, but I'm not gonna buy it. And the gold one has absolutely nothing. Let's go to the packs we saved. You know what? Just give me a Mandy or something. At least it's a tunnel. I actually don't expect to walk out at all. My pack luck lady has been so bad. Like also on main account, it's it's horrible. Don't know how it is for you guys, if you guys have any pack luck at all. But I feel like this year especially, it's worse than ever. Last year, you guys know, if you watched last year's series, you know which player we packed. Let me know in the comments if you remember. You know what, let's open the team of the week packs first before we go to the kind of fodder packs. There are only two plays we want here. The rest is all fodder. And this is fodder. But even the fodder cards are currently going for like 14,000 coins. So we're definitely going to sell that and take the coins. But please let it be one of the two good ones. It's not a walkout. So it's not going to be the case. Another 83. Which are pretty much all of them. But let's finish off with all the guaranteed 81 pluses. We even have an 84 double. I expect to walk it out of that. 81 times 3. That's not good, is it? 82 times 3. Can we get another walkout? The answer is no. It is an 83 and two 82s. At least Suarez has a good Evo right now. So in case you're interested in that, I'll put it on the screen right now. 84 double. Please give me something good. It's not a special card. It is a walkout. It is a goalkeeper. It's a Neuer, isn't it? It's the lowest rated walkout you can get. And Stanway. Could have been Ferdinand Mendy, you know? But yeah, we bought Bergkamp for 400,000 coins. And in the last video, I asked you guys, should we keep him? Should we sell him? Because he was decent, but not insane. I decided to keep him for a little bit. I was like, he was still 400,000 coins like two days ago. I'm recording this on a Saturday. So on Thursday, he was still like 400,000 coins. It was totally fine. And then the market crash happened. And now he's 230,000 coins. So if we would sell him after tax, we lose almost 200,000 coins on him. So I'm at the point where I'm like, we might as well keep him now. Now, hopefully he's gonna recover a little bit and if not it's like how much can he drop still so again let me know in the comments what you guys want me to do but i feel like at this point we just gotta keep him and wait till we can really afford Henri, which is still gonna be a while because Henri is 2.6 million coins he also dropped like 500k because of the market crash but hopefully with this team we're gonna do good in champs i'm gonna sell the team of the weeks i'm gonna make sure i can afford fairland mendy i'm gonna qualify and then next episode i'm gonna play champs again and hopefully it's gonna go a lot better than last weekend and we get some good rewards and get a lot closer to Henri. And if there's any night where the investment that we did pays off and we can sell them because of an SBC, I will record a separate part of that and also put it in the next video. And whenever that happens, I will also drop in my Discord what players you could sell, whatever is up. So if you didn't join my Discord yet, make sure you go to my description. There's a link to my Discord. Join it. We're vibing there anyways. You can just chill, talk about FIFA, talk about other things. And in the club check section of the Discord, I will post there whenever something is up. I did it with the norwegian and usa managers as well and i'm gonna do that with spcs as well whenever something is up but as i said i tested out bronze and silver packs which one is better which one is worth it the video is on the screen right now go check it out if you're interested in that and hopefully see you in the next video with hopefully some good chance rewards thanks for coming man really appreciate it